Hello everyone, this is I, Kona Kona, and here I'm attacking as a soldier on payload upward. So starting off the gate over here, just spamming rockets, and when I come out of here, I actually like to shoot in this corner right here, just to make sure that there are no spies waiting there, because sometimes spies with a uh, cloak and dagger can just wait there until you pass by, and then they'll just get you. Now I have to warn you that in this video, you'll see me do this a lot. <laughs> what I mean by this is push the cart and just kind of circle it. you notice that none of my teammates are helping me push this cart. Look at that scout go. And even this scout right here, is, he's like partially AFK, but he runs away too. So no one is helping me here. Luckily, this pyro comes over here and actually helps me push the cart. But in this game, uh, our teammates kind of forget about the cart or the objective of this game. And they push really far forward. Um, actually, I do that sometimes too as well, and what I'm trying to do is, I, I'm actually doing this right now, I'm trying to clear the area in front of the cart so that it'll make it easier for people pushing the cart. Now actually, there's someone behind us right here, so Pyro ends up flanking us, but don't worry, I got him. But yeah, in payload maps and sometimes control point maps as well, I like to push a little forward just to make sure that the area in front of the objective is clear, and that makes it a little easier for the people on the cart to push it. But in this game, it is a little different. I was now the one pushing the cart. I wasn't the one pushing up forward too much. I was the one pushing this cart. And oh, random crit. I love those. Took out a medic and a demo, so that's cool. But yeah, I was I was just circling this cart. You notice how I circle it. I actually try to use the cart as cover, just in case someone tries to flank us from behind. I can maybe hide behind the cart. And so yeah, right here I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm bored of pushing the car already. I push it through the tunnel. I figured I'd get a few kills here, uh, make sure this area is clear, and then jump down and then again start to push this cart. And again, I'm circling it here, just making sure it's clear. Now I understand that sometimes it can be difficult to play the objective like I am now because it does get boring. I mean, look at this. I'm sure there's a medic and a heavy up there on our team who's just completely owning them, and. That's great, you know, I mean, it's great for them because they get a lot of kills, but, you know, they, they kind of forgot about the objective and it kind of leaves us a little bored over here. I mean, you can see that I'm waiting for spies. I don't think the other team actually has a spy, so there's nothing really for us to do. Now, playing the objective is important, especially on the last point of the map. You can kind of tell that Valve has designed these maps so that the last point is the most difficult, but the most exciting point to capture. Uh, like this map here, the first couple of points, pretty easy to push to. But this last point, they've designed it so that the defensive team has a really big advantage. I mean, on this last point, the defensive team is surrounding you, as well as they have a height advantage over you. So that's, you're pretty much in the worst possible position if you're attacking. Now, because the last point is so difficult to capture, it's very important to coordinate your attack with your teammates. I've been in a lot of games where we were sort of coordinated, I mean we were building up Uber and on, we told our teammates like, hey, we got Uber and we're going to push. But a lot of times what happens is we go in with the Uber and we try to take out all of their defenses, but no one is there to actually capture the point or push the cart. Now if your team has an Uber and they go in with an Uber, your job really is to support the Uber but also play the objective because the Uber offers a great distraction for your team. It's going to block the other team. Basically, all the attention is going to go for that Uber and it gives you a really good opportunity to try and get in there and either capture the point or push the cart. And so you want to make the most out of the Uber because it doesn't happen a whole lot. Now here this pyro actually gets me and down to two health and equalizer saves me. Oh man, Equalizer is like the best weapon for a soldier. It gets me out of so many situations. So now back on the card, helping push it, and I actually decide to push up a little forward because I'm curious as to what the enemy actually has. Usually the enemy team likes to have a lot of sentries, like big sentries, level 3 sentries all over the place. So I want to make sure that the area is clear, or at least I know where the sentries are so that I can call them out. But they don't seem to have any sentries, which is really nice. So I accidentally drop down here and I can't really do much here because as a soldier you want a height advantage and they obviously have the height advantage so I decide to kind of stick around over here. Here's a spy. Um, spy spy battle is not the most exciting to watch so I decide to end that one and take out this pyro with a shotgun. So just waiting here, reloading. Uh, I pop out over here and I just start spamming away at their spawn because I know that they're respawning. And I'm pretty sure that they have an engineer. I've destroyed sentries before, so I know that they have an engineer, and I want to make sure that they don't build anything that can stop us. 
So I try to rocket jump here, and actually, it's a good thing that I failed that rocket jump because I probably would have rocket jumped right into the pit. That would have been really embarrassing, wasting that Uber. So, uh, luckily, I failed that one, so it's not so bad that I failed. A lot of random crits here, so that's really nice. Take these guys out and push in the cart in the pit for the win. Now my question for you guys is, are you an objective player? Do you like playing the objective? Or do you just like going for kills? Or are you a little bit of both? Let me know in the comments below. So that's today's video. If you're new around here and you enjoyed it, you can click on that yellow button and subscribe to me. Also, two videos you may have missed, some scout on granary, as well as my first live commentary as a pyro on harvest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.